Hello everyone, my name is David Crust and I'm the principal of Carlingford High School. This year due to COVID restrictions, we've produced some videos in lieu of the normal open evening where parents and students are invited into the school. In this presentation, I'll run through some of the key elements of our school and what we can offer your son or daughter for their all important secondary education. I want to start by looking at our mission which is to develop considerate, responsible people who can learn and act independently to achieve personal excellence. A number of years ago, I surveyed staff to find out what they valued most as members of our school, and they came up with three main themes. The first thing they talked about was students and how they valued them, then their colleagues, and finally, our school environment and I'll unpack each of these. First of all, valuing students, staff valuing students. These are some of their responses. Students are friendly, they get on well with staff, they're cooperative and well-mannered, they're keen to learn, all abilities and backgrounds accepted into the school community, a good work ethic, students want to learn, students value learning. They mentioned uh, their behaviour and how well behaved they are, how they achieve strong academic results, how they strive to achieve how they're tolerant of each other. And one that I, I really like and I think captures our students really well, overall lovely students who are keen to learn. Staff then talked about how they value their colleagues. They talked about their experience, the strong expertise, the collegiality, the friendliness, the high quality of teaching that occurs here, that they appreciate what they have here and their dedication towards students. And finally, they talked about how they value our school environment. They mentioned technology and the technology support and access that's available here. The wonderful opportunities available for students in music and in our band programs. The great opportunities to play sport, the leadership via the SRC. They valued the co-educational environment that we enjoy here. And also the pleasant surroundings. They talked about the fact we've got lots of space, ovals, room to move for students and staff, and the excellent resources that we have here at the school. In the last slide, I mentioned the co-educational environment, and I think that's a really important aspect, obviously, to our school, and that is boys and girls working and learning together and also learning from each other, which is really important. We're a school that's focused on high achievement, high expectations and giving your best. And it's really important in this context to understand that it's not just high achievement in terms of students getting top marks. It's about the high expectation for them to perform to the best of their ability and achieve their full potential. A safe, happy and harmonious environment. And it really is it's a terrific place. And as I walk around here, uh, every recess and lunchtime, it's, it's wonderful to see the students. They're happy, they're in a great environment, learning and working together. Our positive welfare system is based around the values of the Carlo Way. Um, Carlo standing for cooperation, achievement, respect, learning and ownership. And, it's, and th this is a mantra that we continually reinforce to students, not just words, but in actions we want to see them acting these out each day. We've got a broad and engaging curriculum. There's a strong focus here on the development of literacy and numeracy as cause for learning. The Year 7 program that is listed on this slide uh, is fairly standard across all New South Wales high schools. Um, and they're the, the uh, subjects that students will complete in Year 7. We have an expansive senior curriculum and by that I mean that we offer a large range of courses for students. First of all, the high level courses. We always have mathematics extension one and two classes, English extension one and two, science extension, history extension, music two and music extension. Multiple courses in science of physics, chemistry and biology amongst the other science courses that run. And also vocational courses and pathways for students that may not necessarily be considering a, uh, a further education at university, but there are vocational courses in construction, hospitality, run at school and also through TAFE in IT, health and beauty and fitness and, and many other courses that 
can run through the TAFE system. Our HS HSC results in the school have been and continue to be outstanding. Um, there I've listed the top ATARs. Last year we had a perfect ATAR from our ducks with 99.95. In 2016 we had two students that achieved a top ATAR, a perfect ATAR. And we're very proud of these students and I think this is emblematic of the fact that there is no impediment at our school to students achieving at the highest level. Uh, importantly as well, we're very proud of students that achieve a place in the state at HSC. And I think this also clearly identifies the range of success that we, that our students achieve across courses. So last year we had 4th and 10th in the state in English ALD and 8th in the state in Extension 2 English, 7th in the state in Music 1, 9th in the state in Maths Extension 1 and 13th in the state in Biology. And if you look at some of the other years, we've had a 2nd and the 10th in the state in Investigating Science, 9th in Earth and Environmental Science. We've had 1st in the state in Japanese Beginners in 2017, a 1st in the state uh, in Hospitality, uh, a range of courses. In 2016, software design and development and legal studies, we had students who achieved places in the state. I think this speaks to the quality of teaching that occurs across all subjects in the school. This graph is really looking at um, growth. It's looking at NAPLAN 7 to 9 value added results, which have been consistently strong. Um, without going into too much detail, value added really is looking at how well students improve from what they achieve in year seven to what they achieve in year nine in literacy and numeracy. And you can see here that those box and whisker charts sitting above the value added line for the state shows that we're excelling, that we are above the average um, value added for schools across the state, um, that black line representing the, the average VA. So um, over a long period of time, we're consistently doing very well in terms of value added. Uh, on average as well, we can look at value added from year nine NAPLAN to HSC. And again, we're sitting above the line, which is the state average. And according to the way the department looks at our statistics, we're again excelling in adding value to students' scores from when they're in year nine to when they complete their HSC. Students supporting both learning and welfare We've got a terrific team here. Um, we've got a head teacher teaching and learning that manages staff professional learning, a head teacher welfare and well-being that looks after the needs of particular students and makes sure makes sure that we have strong programs across the school in each year group through our year advisors uh, in supporting students in their well-being. A head teacher learning support whose specific role is to lead a team that provides additional learning opportunities, additional support for students who may need it um, in terms of learning support. A counsellor support, support is five days a week. We have a counsellor in the school, two counsellors. They share that role over five days. Um, I mentioned the learning support team structure. We have got uh, English EALD as a, uh, an important element of the school uh, within the English faculty. Uh, a year advisor and assistant at each year group, deputy principals who are each in charge of three year groups. Excellent facilities at the school. Hopefully our video that um, you, you might get an opportunity to see will show you, will showcase what we have in the school. Expansive school grounds, large playing fields, all the ovals out the back of the school. They, they are outside our fence, but they are our school ovals and they belong to the school and to the department. We've had a COLA completed. Um, with seating there. All our classrooms across the school are all fully air conditioned. We have a large modern library that's also been air conditioned. We have senior learning spaces and computers available. Fully equipped commercial kitchens, a fully refurbished science labs, specialist dance and drama studio. We have music rooms, rehearsal studios, and a fitness center on the Oval, um, which is a terrific place for students to go and, uh, and work on their fitness not only as part of um, PDHPE programs and sport programs, but also we make that available before school. This is the, uh, this is the coal that we had built a couple of years ago. It was um, well supported by the PNC. It means that we're weatherproof for all our assemblies that are held each, each fort. 
uh, on our quadrangle. It protects students from the sun when they're out playing at recess and break times. A terrific facility. We've also got very strong ICT infrastructure in the school. Um, you'd be very familiar with the term BYOD. That is operates across all our year groups. We have inf wireless infrastructure across the whole school. An extensive school intranet with student access to, re to resources, Google Classroom, online learning and research. You'd be very familiar with how Google Classroom works given the learning from home period uh, last year. We have an inter internet connected desktop in every classroom. 100% of classrooms have either got a smart board or a fixed data projector. We also have computer labs, laptop banks, and technology support five days a week, and that is outsourced. We don't have teachers running around fixing computers and problem solving computer issues. We have a dedicated technology team that provides uh, wonderful support not only for staff, but also for students with their devices. Our music programs are amazing in the school. We have two stage bands, two concert bands, a string ensemble, junior and senior choirs. Um, we have an annual music tour each year. We hold performance evenings and there are performance competitions and a school musical that runs every second year. But our music is unbelievable and I'm extremely proud of our music faculty and, um, and our students for the wonderful music that they produce and uh, the wonderful opportunities that are available for our students. In sport, Similarly, great opportunities. PDHP is run in year seven to 10. Integrated sport runs in year seven and eight. So students aren't going out of the school in seven and eight to do their sport. They are being, um, they're getting those lessons through trained PDHPE teachers and they commence grade sport or recreational sport in year nine. So year seven and eight also get to be involved in gala days with local schools. As I mentioned, grade and recreational sport commences in year nine and runs through to year 12. Opportunities for students to participate at zone, regional and state levels. We have combined high school knockout teams. Um, we, we have school zone and regional carnivals each year in swimming, cross country and athletics. Um, and we do pretty well on those. Last year we came first in zone swimming, which was a terrific effort. HSC courses in PDHPE, in drama and dance, and sport, lifestyle and recreation. Grade sports, I won't go through all of these, but there's a, um, a representation of what we do in sport over summer, winter and spring. There are three trimesters of sport. So summer sports and winter sports and spring. Um, there are grade sports and also a, ra a range of grade sports and also recreational sports in bushwalking, fitness, trampolining, tennis, soccer, self-defense and yoga is just an example of some of the recreational sports that students may participate in on a Thursday afternoon. Dance and drama, we have dance and drama electives in years nine to 12. Drum, dance and drama ensemble, seven to 12, where we participate each year in the City North Schools Dance Festival in the School Spectacular. Uh, we're part of Dance of a Stedford's, we have a dance drama night. There's Senior HSC Dance and Drama, which runs each year and um, students who consistently get selected to perform in the Arts North Drama Festival um, and students who are involved in regional drama camp and in obviously this school musical. Visual Arts, a fantastic faculty, great visual arts teachers that, that achieve amazing, an amazing quality of work with our students. So there's a year seven and eight visual arts program that all students are involved in. They can elect to take on visual arts in stage five and stage six for their HSC. Uh, there's also photographic and digital media. All of these in summary are quite uh, very rich learning environments for students at the school. Great opportunities for them to participate in, in subjects that they enjoy and are good at and can excel at. In terms of extracurricular opportunities, there are many. We have a study skills program that we run across years seven to 12. We have the opportunity for students to be involved in Lions Youth of the Year, in Australian Business Week, in the Model United Nations, in mock trial competitions. I've mentioned the knockout sporting teams, debating teams and competitions, a chess club, Duke of Edinburgh awards and um, schemes that students can be involved in. Streamwatch, we have an environmental team, 
and participation in the Australian Mathematics, Science and English competitions. So these are all extracurricular opportunities outside the classroom for students. There's always quite a bit of interest each year in the Gifted and Talented exam that we run. Um, uh, over the last couple of years, this is now only for students who are in area, enrolled students who are coming to our school, they can elect to sit the examination for placement in our extension class. So following the confirmation of our local applicants in late June, all local students who've submitted an expression of interest and have had their application to enrol accepted, we sent a communication inviting them to sit for the GATS test during term three. And if you, um, once you've put your application in, um, you can look at the website and we'll be sending you information, um, giving you an opportunity for your son or daughter to sit that GATS test. The website has a parent portal, which is a great avenue for information uh, provision for you about your child's education at the school. So that has access to the school calendar and daily events, your child's timetable, a record of your child's daily attendance. School documents can be found there, camp and excursion notes, assessment policies, etc. So it's a great place to go and find information about your child and uh, what's happening in the school. The enrolment process, so if you're in our catchment areas described in our enrolment policy, you're offered a place at Carlingford High School. A map of the catchment area is on our website or you can use School Finder. And I'll show you that in a minute. You complete the expression of interest form provided to you by your primary school. You then return that form to your primary school. If you're out of area, you still complete the same form, but you note your preference of schools. So there's the New South Wales Public School Finder. You can just Google that. You click on a high school student and then you can um, search by school or by your address and you put your address in and it'll tell you where your local schools are um, which, and then you'll know if you're a local student at Carlingford High School. So that's the search bar, provide your home address, hit search and then it will tell you your local schools. Out of our applications, you can apply as an out of area student. It's very difficult to get in under those circumstances. Um, all schools now have a cap um, and when you sit above that cap, which we do, um, it's very, very difficult to get in as an out of area student. Though there is um, an opportunity for out of area students based on a criteria. If you look carefully at the school's out of area criteria on our website in our enrolment form, you can see the criteria and you may meet that uh, criteria via your application. So you complete the relevant section of the EOI form, attach any supporting information, which is very important, um, and then that can be assessed. So attach your expression of interest form and return, return it to your primary school. This is whether or not um, you're in area or out of area. Um, and you note Carlingford as one, and then you forward the form, they'll forward the form onto us. If your child attends a non-government school, you must complete and return your own form directly to us. That's our enrolment policy, just an excerpt from that. Non-local enrolment applications will be considered with reference to each applicant's residential address and the following criteria. Siblings already enrolled at the school, they get priority in terms of outer area, dire compassionate circumstances, study of a course offering, not available at another school, medical reasons, proximity. But if you look at the enrolment policy, it will outline the criteria and how you need to address it if you're trying to seek out of area enrolment. That is um, last year's, or this year's year seven enrolment form. Um, that's expression of interest form. form. It's distributed by primary schools in sort of early, mid-March. And as I said, you complete that and you return it to your primary school and those forms then get passed on to us. On that enrolment form, there is an opportunity for the primary school principal to make a comment um, you, you may or may not um, request that they, they provide something. They, they don't always do that, and I can understand that. It's a, it's a, it can be a lot of work. Um, and also there's a section where you, you complete it if you're looking for placement at a non-local school. So for further information, you should contact our office during school hours or visit our website. Um, I want to thank you for watching and for considering Carlingford High School for your child. 
We certainly look forward to meeting many of you here next year for what I am sure would be the start of a first class education for your child.